Good morning. This is our offline video lesson number four for understanding culture, society, and politics. So, our discussion for today is biological and cultural evolution. So, here are the table between the, the, between the biological and cultural evolution as a comparison. Here, biological evolution is a population level process guided by selection and it leads to an increase of adaptation of population for environmental circumstances in which population lives. Culture can be defined as wholeness of the mental and material achievement of a society or mankind as a whole. The theory of cultural evolution proves that explanation for how cultures and societies change, change over time. So here are the table for the comparison between biological and cultural evolution. Transfer of information in biological and cultural evolution in biological evolution, the transfer is unidirectional and vertical, whereas in cultural evolution is bidirectional and vertical, horizontal, or oblique, in, in the other words, that is network-like. Biological and cultural evolution have certain similarity, but also many dissimilarity. Both are based on variation, heredity, and selection. But how this appears in works deeper? Biological evolution is uh, unconscious, opportunistic, and not goal-directed while cultural evolution is con conscious at base plan and can be have a goal next is pre-human ancestor so this is our ancestor the great the greatest uh, greatest similarities between man and apes uh, indicates that they have evolved simultaneously and from one some common ancestral stock from quite some time after that man's ancestor assumed by pedal gait and upright posture whereas apes ancestor still use their knuckles following are the special features of a man which have acquired during humanization so first we have proleopithecus so ape like primates ancestor of modern apes and man short arms so 6.5 million years old so the discovery sila sa Slovakia and Switzerland and Spain their incisor teeth were vertical rather than direct forward and molar had uh, five cups each. Next is Agipithecus, so similar to the deposit of Priopithecus, so six, uh, 29 and 24 million years old sila nabuhay. So, the fossil found in Cairo, e, uh, Cairo, Egypt, live in Oligocene time. Next is Dryopithecus. So, descended from Proleopithecus and Agipithecus, same length of arms and legs, 23 eh, and 2.6 million years old had arms and legs are same length semi-erect posture with without bro rage 
it was a real knuckle walker, ate soap fruits and leaves, common ancestor of man and apes. Next is Ramapithecus, prior prior to ape man, direct ancestor of a man. So 12 and 7 million years old. So the fossil contains only jaws and dentation collected from India and Africa. Walk erect on its he uh, head feet had small uh, jaw and low chromolar caps with thick layer of enamel and eat hard nuts and seeds. Next is Australopithecus, ape man, connecting uh, link between man and apes. So, a common fossil of Australopithecus africanus, erect posture with four feet height, bipedal locomotion, basin like pelvic, uh, pelvic bone, dentation like a man. So, katulad din siya ng tao ang kanyang ngipin. Had use non locomotion function, cranial capacity is 500 ka, uh, cc. Uh, Bro ridge and projected over eye did not have chin so wala siyang chin dito ito dito ah uh, mababa dito sa may dito mismo sa may baba natin so next is homo habil homo habilis so first true man primitive man also called skillful man or tool maker bipedal locomotion so, 2.3 and 1.65 million years old. Taller than Australopithecus. Plattered skull. So, cannibalistic sila. They were hunter and gatherers. Uh, less body hair. So, brain capacity 700 to 800 cc was first to use the tools so sila yung naunang gumamit ng mga tools according to the nat uh, natural selection by Charles Darwin Homo erectus so evolved from Homo habilis 1.9 million years old forerunners of a modern man they also called Java man so 1.5 to 1.8 meters height had protrudin jaws projecting bro ridge and small cups and large molar teeth so cranium capacity is 800 to 1300 so sila yung naunang gumamit ng apoy he used fire so natagpuan sila sa Java and Peking, China Java is from Indonesia and Peking is from China next is Heidelberg so early homo sapien from, uh, from their massive lower jaw and he lives 700,000 years old. So, early Homo sapiens sila. So, ancestor to uh, Homo, Homo habil, habilis or the Java man. Cranial capacity is 1,300 known from their massive lower jaw the jaw is larger and heavy and lack a ch uh, lack of chin next is neanderthal man so when we say neanderthal man uh, 
that is uh, advanced primitive man, slightly shorter than modern, skillful. So they develop speech. They live in four hundred thousand years old. Walk upright, lower bro, receding jaw, larger teeth, and uh, doom's head. So, tama na. Medyo pabilog yung ulo niya. Skillful use of tools. So, uh, they, are, they are cave dweller. Adapt to the cold environment. Next is... Rhodesian man, so receding for foreheads and heavy bro, so they eat nuts and animals. So cranial capacity is one uh, one thousand three hundred capacitors capacity of their cranial. So they live to hundred fifty thousand years old. So, we have here, the next is the missing link. So, that is hypothetical. Uh, according to the scientists, we have missing, uh, missing link and also uh, supported by natural science, which is Charles Darwin. So, non-specific term for a, for a transitional fossil uh, between between modern man in being an anthropoid progenitors in the later half of 19th, 19th century. A uh, common misinterpretation of Charles Darwin works was human linearly descended from existing species of apes. So, dito nagkakaroon ng argumento. Kaya, Kaya hanggang ngayon, jury pa rin ang, ang, ang human evolution. Kasi hindi pamahanap uh, yung nawawala doon sa uh, uh, tawag na chain. Human chain. According to the study of Charles Darwin. Next is Cro-Magnon Man. So in extinct uh, modern man hunters and artists 30,000 years old so they live in caves they were hunter and artists w their cranial capacity is 1650 face uh, orthogenous with an arrow, uh, arrow limited nose broad and arc forehead moderate bro rage strong jaw with man like dentation and and dual developed chin where di where direct ancestor of living modern man next is ours so tayo na to this is a homo sapien or a modern man advance uh, we can establish town we have cultural a uh, fully cultural evolution so we have 300 years uh, ago to the present uh, our cranial capacity is 1450 advanced in forming uh, forming techniques uh, we have domesticated animals so course of cultural evolution has been divided into paleolithic mesolithic neolithic bronze bronze age and the present iron age lastly uh, according to uh, other scientists cultural uh, cultural and industrial evolution today has reached this that stage that man can change his environmental condition this has reduced the impact of biological evolution on human races 
anthropologist Sai Pero has imagined that man in the future will be tall, slim, and without body hair. Their skull will be dome shaped and brain will be large. Their lifespan will increase and that 50, uh, fifth digit in the feet will be lost. This future races of man is named as Homo Futurist. That is uh, the uh, interpretation of Cypero, the anthropologist. So that's all. Actually, uh, this is the reference uh, for this uh, lesson. Kung gusto nyo, search nyo. And by the way, may activity and quiz I will send to the messenger. Uh, sagutan nyo na lang. And by at uh, idadagdag ko na rin na yung mga nag-module doon, kung ano ang quiz ko sa offline video lesson at kung ano activity ko din, yun na din ang gagawin ng mga nag-module. So, para pair. So, let's see what is the comparison. So, as you can see, doon sa mga na-discuss kong mga uh, uh, pre-ancestor, kung makikita nyo doon, uh, ay ay emphasize the biological which is the capacity the i mean the cranial capacity in their physical feature kung ano ba yung kinakain nila nuts also from right away that is cultural so trans uh, transfer from one place to another so from picking of fruits and seeds maybe leaves so kinakain din nila at at the same time na nag evolve na sila uh, kumakain na din sila ng hayop so dweller din sila nakagawa sila ng apoy nakagamit sila ng ng tools para sa pangangaso so yun so that's all this is our uh, topic for this week thank you